visit to her island Telling me her greatest pleasure This next Calypso was first done some 30 years ago. That's 30 years ago. I wasn't even born yet, but today it's still a classic in tribute to the late Martin Luther King. This is Black Stalin. Never lived by a gun, but yet died by one. This man, Martin Luther King, senior son. A gentleman of great capability, who never knew the meaning of the word enemy, but a man who devoted his life to fight that all American Negroes must get civil rights. I say his works must be continued although he's dead. So people don't forget the great things that Martin said. Leave your guns at home, don't walk with weapons. Violence cannot solve the situation. We want the whites to know. We live wholeheartedly. We want them as our friends and not as enemy. For as enemy would bring riot in this land. And that would not be good for no American. Call him a genius, a messiah, or different things. But I say Martin was a king of all. From Texas to Florida, New York City, yes, and even Georgia. The entire Negro population, yes, they had Martin Luther King as their champion. A man that stood tall and have no fear and gave more than 350 speeches a year. But how can we forget this blessed day? In the civil rights march, listen what he said. He said, I have a dream, I have a vision, and this is what Martin made them to understand. In his vision, this is what he see. One day black and white would be living so happy. Little black children and little white children. One day walk in the streets of America as friend. From the Black Hills of Dakota to Mississippi, hand in hand in racial equality. A man at all the world. Considered as wise, a man that was awarded a Nobel Peace Prize. Violence was never his way to fight, but with several prison terms for civil rights. I remember one good day in Mississippi when a reporter put a question to him Why must American Negroes get civil rights? And this was his answer to my delight. We tell their cotton fields and give their pockets more wealth. Mind their babies and have them in the best of health. Took part in the Olympic. Don't care if we die. Just to keep the stars and strike flying high. Uphold democracy in and out of this land. From Germany to the foxhole of Vietnam. All this we did for America, so faithful and true. Tell me why we can eat this. But now Martin Luther is dead and gone but i say that his good works must go on for his business was then left entirely in the hands of his wife reverend tabernati 
and these two then work wholeheartedly just to make Martin dreams a reality. I say, if not the whole, but a part at least, show the world where black and white could live in peace. So good luck, Mistress King. A blessing to you. Trend Begonian say success in anything you do. Don't you take some time. One should keep asking. They must judge a man by his heart and not his skin. Remember Martin also said that time is nothing but only how man use time. But time then be something. So don't forget the song of your dear husband. That says we shall overcome. We shall overcome. Black Stalin on Culture Share. Well, Stalin is on the Ice Records label. That's Eddie Grant's Ice Record label. And just recently at Soho in New York City, Ice Record label was launching the new hits, and Stalin was on hand to perform. Well, we left the upper level where the hub of activities were and went to a lower level so that we can converse. And I began by bringing Stalin back, way back, to the early days when he and his brother were playing Pan in Trinidad and first asked him what was going through his mind then as an artist. Well, I think, you know, at that time when you, you saw that budding and, you know, an artist and you're just starting, I think you see all the wonderful things outside here happening, you know, when you see all the stage and you see different artists performing. I think this is the heights that you always think about getting to, you know, and um, at that time, that was in, you know, that is what was happening with the Black Stallion head until maybe like... You know, and it used to look so simple, just seeing an artist on there with a mic until today. When in this time, you know, I'll realize, that, wow, there's so much work, you know, to pull that off. But in those days then, the mind of Black Stalin culturally was one of a pan nature. Well, you know, um, not so much. I originally started in the pan mm -hmm. because um, this was my brother who really took care of me as, well, as a youth. But like somehow between that, you know, I did a little of dancing, a little of the poetry thing. And not until maybe I came across um, a guy by the name of Successor and Pretender did I realize, you know, this thing that I have that I want to put out there in terms of the art and the culture that Calypso is the medium that I should use to do it. But all and in all, it was always, because I've, I've, I've grown up in a, you know, born and grew up in a, in, in a culture at home, you know. I was always say that the first singer that I heard singing to me really was my mother. You know, and I remember that day, you, you know, those days where you're home, and you know, they put a little piece of wood in front of the door so you wouldn't fall out, and she washing outside, and it's some of the most beautiful songs, you know, that you will ever hear. I mean, at the age of maybe five, six, seven, and hearing mommy doing that thing in the morning, and I mean, it's there where the singing thing sort of started, but it was culture all home, you know, brother beating pan, and you know, always in the mass and thing. But I think, you know, that three years, there was just something that I needed to do as far as the art and culture is concerned. And I think singing when I saw the bounce up on the Kaiso thing. You even tried some MCing too? Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> No, this one is a mind boggler. No. Stalin the MC. No, well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, I think, you know, I had something like maybe 10 years. I did it like 10 years. I saw that... Um, 10 years with Kitchener, you know, I started running Kitchener 10 from something like 1967 and I finished doing it in 1976. I did 10 seasons emceeing in Kitchener 10 and I mean people who had been around Calypso would always say one of the baddest MC they had seen in the business today up to today's Black Stallion. But you know like um, I did the emceeing thing but during that time I could only sing one or two Calypso in the night because the amount of trips you make on stage to put on the singers. So maybe at a certain point I just say that coming around to like 1976, 77 I just say look black man cool it a little bit on the MC and get into some more singing and I think you know after those two years like um, 77 and 78 I think the results are seen off the stage we saw it in 79 with the first Calypso Crown and my first album. Stalin I want to ask you if you're satisfied in the manner in which your career is at today 
And is there a future for the social commentator? I'm talking about the social commentator who would sing the heavy political lyrics as opposed to the jump and wave. Now, this is, I always get into this situation having to ask all of the artists that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then, are you satisfied? Yeah, well, again, I must say, I'm satisfied. You know, somebody asked me that question, you know, a few weeks ago as to whether that um, I'm satisfied in life. And I say, you know, as a youth, I always had two things in mind that I wanted to be successful with. One, a successful career and two, a successful family. I think, you know, I have a beautiful family home, a loving wife and some beautiful youths um, doing well in school. I got a youth, you know, and I think they make me happy the way we live. And I think that is one success. Then, um, you know, from my youth, I started on the singing thing and I'd always hope one day that maybe you could put Black Stalin name on a poster and somebody would buy a ticket. And I think today it's happening. And I think in life, I'm really pleased. As for the other thing you, you ask, the social commentator would always stand out. Maybe at a certain point, I think what really happened, especially with the Calypso, within, you know, within the last few years coming down, I think like the promoters and a lot of people that handles the business never really take time to understand what was happening and they allowed it the, the whole positive thing about the calypso which was that, that positive direction this calypso that come from the old african storyteller with the drum from village to village spreading the word they allowed that to fall down black stalin on culture share stay with us